From around the Tri-State, online and on the air, this is Tri-State Professionals. Hey everybody, welcome to another segment of Tri-State Professionals. Today I'm here with Charlie McMahon from McMahon Extermain. How are you doing, Charlie? I'm doing fine. How are you? Good. Now today we're going to talk about a common pest around this area, the brown recluse, recluse spider. Sure. Um, where can I find these inside my home? In a variety of places. Uh, you know, folks want to uh, check the closet areas. Uh, if you have a lot of clutter inside the closet, you can have a lot of brown recluse activity uh, in, the, in the closets. Uh, garage areas in particular. So many of us have a lot of items stored inside our garages along the walls. We've got cardboard boxes, we've got old, uh, uh, some old paneling or drywall, this sort of thing. We need to move those things out from time to time. Uh, we, we would be likely to find some brown recluse spiders in those areas. Um, if we have uh, beds that have skirting and this sort of thing that are close to the, the carpeted areas, this creates that, that uh, environment underneath that's, that's uh, dark and uh, shaded all the time. That could be another area uh, that would be uh, common for brown recluse spiders. So under beds, around furniture, TVs, consoles, you know, uh, entertainment centers that might be right against the wall, uh, these are areas that brown recluse spiders are going to want to like to hide and to live in inside the house. Okay, kind of sounds like they like to hide a little bit of everywhere around the house. What about outside the home? Where can you find them? Uh, a lot of times we'll find brown recluse spider activity if we have a lot of dense vegetation on the outside of the house. We've got a lot of ivy outside the home or we've got some, uh, some dense uh, ground cover. Uh, if we've got a lot of leaf litter around the outside of the house. Uh, also shutters uh, inside, around the, uh, the house, especially on the, uh, the walls of the house. Those shutters will have a lot of brown recluse and spider activity as well as other insect activity, wasp and so on and so forth. So outside the house, keep that uh, dense vegetation uh, uh, lessened. Uh, make sure that you uh, eliminate as much leaf litter as possible. Uh, this will be a condition that will help you to eliminate uh, some brown recluse activity. Okay, uh, I see that you brought one here with you today. Uh, can you show us anywhere on this spider? Sure. Any type of identifying markings? Absolutely. This is, this is just a, a standard uh, monitor or sticky trap uh, that's used to uh, monitor insect activity inside and outside the house. And on this trap today, as you can see, we actually have a brown recluse spider on there. One of the uh, distinct characteristics of the brown recluse spider is the, uh, what is referred to as the fiddle on the top of the head. Um, as you can see there, at the top of the head of this particular spider, there's a very dark marking on the top of the head there. Uh, that's the fiddle shape. And so these sticky traps are good things to use inside the house uh, to uh, determine whether or not you have some brown recluse. Okay, sounds good, Charlie. Now, if somebody wants to call you about some spiders, what's your phone number and where are you located? Our phone number is 812-475-1100. Or you can visit us on the web at mcmanexterminating.com. You can also log on to tristatehomepage.com and learn more about McMahon Exterminating.